It's an inevitable fact that if you work in Illustrator long enough, you will eventually have to deal with color. How colors relate to and play off of one another is a major part of design and sets the tone, mood, and demeanor of your finished product. Luckily, Illustrator CS4 contains a variety of tools to get you started on the right track. The Color Guide panel is an included inspiration tool in Illustrator that analyzes colors you are already using and suggests others based on various harmony rules and color variation types. Available harmony rules range from scientifically analyzed color sets to historically associated color families and many more in between. The color variation types that are selectable are tints and shades, warm and cool, and vivid and muted. Each selection modifies what variations are used to dictate colors to the left and to the right of your base color set. They are selected in the Color Guides panel menu. Also available in the panel menu are the variation options of steps of variation and variation amount. These let you choose the number of colors that appear to the left and to the right of your color group and their range of variations from the original colors as dictated by the selected variation type. You are not limited to the predefined color groups Illustrator provides. From the color guide panel, you can click the color wheel in the lower right corner to open the edit colors dialog box. Here, the relationship between your colors is represented graphically and can be edited globally. The relationships can also be adjusted on a per color basis by unclicking the link harmony button. And new colors can be added or existing ones can be removed. With the link button turned on, adjustments to hue, lightness and darkness, or other color virtues affect all the colors in the set based on their relationship to one another. However, color sets can also be affected by the same edits applied to all colors equally by going to the edit mode menu and selecting global adjust. Global adjustments do not have to adhere to color harmony relationships. However, they may be limited to color swatch libraries if you have one selected. Once your edits have been made, they can be saved as a color group by naming the group and clicking the New Color Group button. Over time, you can build an entire library of color families and groups that can be recalled, edited, and even shared online, streamlining your color selection process and in turn, adding efficiency to your entire design workflow.